Welcome to this very special edition of India Up Front. India's legal doyen has decided to speak out on the ongoing judicial crisis. We are talking about Fali Nariman. Fali Nariman is today a disappointed man. Speaking to me, India's legal conscience has been very critical of politically motivated parties. Fali Nariman also questioned the silence of the four judges for not clarifying that they are against the impeachment motion brought against the Chief Justice of India. Though he has warned the opposition against dragging in the courts, Nariman has also asked the Chief Justice of India to appoint his number two to hear the petition about to be filed by the Congress against the Vice President's decision to dismiss the motion brought by 64 Rajya Sabha MPs. We welcome this evening Mr. Fali Nariman on India Up Front. Thank you, sir, for speaking to me. I want to begin by asking you, the Vice President, sir, who is also the Rajya Sabha Chairman, has been criticized for rejecting the motion hastily. Now, what do you make of this claim that he has been very hasty, that he has been prejudicial in the application of his mind and, of course, responsibility, sir? No, I, I don't agree. But you see, when one loses, one is always ent inclined to be critical of the person who decides against you. That's, that's the fate of all litigants, that's the fate of judges as well. So the mere fact that he decided hastily, which would mean that after about eight or ten days when the letter was first given to him, I think it was about ten days ago, uh, would be an exaggeration to say the least because it doesn't require too much time to decide whether you will admit the motion or you will reject the motion. Okay, so you're saying it's an exaggeration and you say that uh, when you lose then people are inclined to question you. Okay, Kapil Sibyl sir, now Kapil Sibyl who has been at the forefront of this uh, entire opposition-led move to impeach the Chief Justice of India has said that the chairman of the Rajya Sabha, led by the opposition, doesn't have the authority to reject the motion. Now he says that he doesn't have the authority, sir. Do you agree with this? No, no, of course not, because uh, in fact the section itself says he can accept it or reject it. So, and that has in fact been done. If you look up, when Justice J. C. Shah was sought to be impeached with signatures of about 150 people, members of Parliament, and then ultimately there was a contempt proceeding which C. K. Dapsari himself moved as Attorney General, and that's a reported case, and that records that uh, the speaker had rejected the motion. So okay. it's not as if it's without precedent. This well, is in the 70s, early 70s. Okay, so it's not without precedent. It's happened in the early 70s. That's something that Kapil Sibyl should note because he and others in the Congress and some in the opposition who supported this uh, impeachment motion have said that the Rajya Sabha chairman and the Vice President of India, Mr. Venkai Naidu, should have appointed a commission. Commission before dismissing out of hand the motion. Why? Because it has been moved by 64 MPs, all of whom are of some caliber and have been elected by the people of this country. Mr. Nariman, that's the argument. What do you have to say about that? No, against J.C. Chad, there were 130 people who moved. So it makes no difference, quite frankly, who, how many people move. It all depends on what he feels. In fact, uh, 
this is going to be perhaps a test case as to under what circumstances a speaker or chairman's decision can be challenged and on if so on what grounds because that's going to be virgin ground virgin ground virgin territory okay that's very very interesting because no precedent exists well the congress sir talking about this the congress is planning to move the supreme court now do you believe this is a wise move on the congress's part given the fact that the rajya sabha chairman has found no real merit in this particular impeachment motion <laughs> i don't know you better ask them they are entitled to <laughs> they are certainly entitled to tell. because everyone wants to move the supreme court ultimately when you fail in the high court you go to the supreme court that that's the confidence you see you must remember that uh, this confidence must not get shaken by anything that either the judges do or litigants do or members of parliament do or the chief justice does okay uh, let me ask you sir then when the congress does move the supreme court we'll have a situation sir and this is also virgin territory have a situation where the chief justice of india deepak mishra will have to recuse himself sir will have to recuse himself this is unprecedented since he is the master of the roster do you think he should what should he do yeah but he remains master of the roster for allotting it to somebody else nobody else will be master of the roster only the chief justice by reason of being chief justice by reason of being chief justice only is master of the roster so that's not a delegatable function so he will have to appoint somebody and i hope he appoints the person who is likely to succeed him that's the correct thing to do in fact i am i'm very it's important impressions are very important rahul Import, impressions are very important in this regard and therefore judges must be above all this it's Point okay if be members of parliament have no confidence in you it's all right but you must you must therefore appoint somebody who will ultimately succeed you in, in due course and uh, well whatever will be done will be done i would i would have if i were chief justice i would appoint my successor whoever he be in in the normal course and uh, this is not not only a normal course this is a convention constitutional convention that the chief justice is chosen from amongst the senior most and the senior most today is today number 3 because number 2 goes away in june that's that's a very big that's a very big word of advice going out from fali nariman to the chief justice of india appoint your number 2 which would be justice gogoi if i'm not mistaken to hear the petition if it is indeed brought by the congress party before the supreme court of india big breaking news development apart from apart from sending a message out to the chief justice of india mr fali nariman also sends a straight message out to the congress party saying that while you're within your rights to challenge because it's a sign of confidence that you have in the court you have to be you have to be extremely careful about where you're directing this now 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 some people sir are calling for a full court hearing what do you have to say to those who are calling for a full court hearing sir not if he appoints some uh, 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 his successor who's likely successor as chief justice okay. namely mr justice gogoi who should be the next chief justice after october and uh, and that this is where I, i i i do wish to say this on television since you asked me that this is where the government should keep completely out i i i will be hate to see anybody superseded as the next chief justice that's a very very important thing and i am very keen that the tradition the convention must be followed i was against the first supersession i was against the second supersession where justice hr khanna 
was superseded and Justice Beg was made Chief Justice. And therefore, I would be very loath to think that loath. the government would play into anybody's hands or would supersede the man who's to succeed the present current Chief Justice. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm asking, so I'm asking. So some, some judges have written now over the last few days about a full court hearing. I don't know if you are aware of this, but uh, they have done so. And you're saying that there should be no full court hearing as long as the Chief Justice of India appoints his number two to hear the Congress's petition. Do you then support these other judges, sir, these other eminent brother judges of the Supreme Court? Not a bad idea. Certainly not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Certainly not a bad idea. And besides, I, since you say that, I didn't know that some judges have written. But if the, these judges are, other than the first four, hmm. that is to say, Chief Justice, uh, number two, three, four, and five, then it's a good sign because no one seems to have consulted them on all the... There are 25 judges and the first five don't become... The first five because they are you know, on a board of directors like thing. On, on the the mm. only reason for a collegium of, the, of five is to recommend appointment of judges to the high courts and supreme court. Nothing yes. else. Yes. There, there's no big five or small five. Uh, there, are, there are 25 today. There should be 31. Yeah, there should be 31. There are only 25. And I think that's a very, very important very important declaration that if there has to be a full court, then preferably, says Mr. Nariman, it should not just be the first four, but or the top four after the Chief Justice of India, but others. But there is a complication here, sir. Don't you agree if the Chief Justice does appoint his successor, and this is where things will get interesting, that same judge, that same judge has also come out and held a press conference, sir. If you remember, along with three others, in a sense, expressing his no confidence in the Chief Justice of India. Now, wouldn't that cloud the picture further? You see, this is where I had said some time ago, about a week ago, that this is where these four judges have to swallow their pride and they have to say that although we maintain whatever we said in our letter of 12th January of this year, but it was not in order to lead to the impeachment or any proceedings for impeachment. That was furthest from our mind. Hmm. But they haven't so far said so. This is, uh, this is very unfortunate. Unfortunate that these four justices haven't come out. Very important. Fali Nariman, Fali Nariman speaking his mind today. I don't think I've ever heard you, sir, so direct. So you're saying that those four judges who held the press conference now must come out and say that they never really held that press conference to press for an impeachment. That's very important. Let's move on because I'll come back to this point, sir. But Kapil Sibal said that the Chief Justice of India's questionable judgment in various matters made it necessary to move this impeachment motion that he just couldn't lump it, that the opposition couldn't just lump it. Now, you remember, sir, you were quoted as having said that they should just lump it. Now, how do you react to this? Well, I, it all depends on the case. You see, this is the problem of loss of confidence. This, this, and this is where I, 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 would, I would sincerely suggest to the Chief Justice not to accept any post of in retirement when he retires in October, because that will really put the lid on, on, on the charges that have been framed, even if the charges are negative. Hmm. He should remain totally aloof. The whole idea of a judge, of the Supreme Court particularly, is that he should not only be independent, but he should appear to everybody concerned as independent. Not merely litigants, not certainly not litigants, certainly not lawyers, but to the general run of people, 
he should appear to decide fairly and honestly. And I have no doubt that the Chief Justice will decide fairly and honestly. But if he accepts some appointment of the government after he retires, they will put two and two, and as most of us do, make 22. <laughs> well, yes, and the media is uh, particularly adept at making 22, Mr. Nariman. But two messages going on from Mr. Nariman to the Chief Justice. Appoint your number two if indeed there is a case filed in the Supreme Court challenging Vice President Naidu's decision to set aside the impeachment motion. So that's one very important word of advice for the Chief Justice of India. And second, don't accept any position offered by the government because that will really put a lid, as you said, Mr. Nariman, on this entire issue. And that will simmer and probably explode. Now, you had called upon these various individuals to lump it, the ones who are today moving this impeachment or attempt to impeach the Chief Justice of India. Now, they didn't. They pressed on. And I have to ask you today then, did the Congress and other opposition parties act out of a sense of political peak on the back of the justice lawyer verdict, sir, or generally to score political points against this government? I don't, I don't know. I, I wouldn't suggest that. I, I, it all depends. Political parties act politically. Hmm. So whether you call it peak or you call it uh, 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 the, the correct thing to do, etc., is, uh, is of no consequence. Political parties must act politically. Whatever suits them, they will do. So I have no, no compunction there. My problem is with the judges. And I, I am very perturbed that the court has been brought into this because I respect the court. I don't care for judges come and go. We've had 240 judges. And of them, I would say just five or six were super judges, whom I would call super judges. But uh, the rest were decent human beings trying to give of their best. And they have by and large succeeded, by and large. There have been odd people who have occupied the position of judge and of chief justice. But then that, that's in every, every sphere of activity, which we can't expect uh, saints or people from heaven to come down and become chief justice. They mm. are all people who are part of us, part of our, our group. And, and our standards have to be maintained. And that's where I, I, I don't agree with uh, that uh, we should treat this as any other challenge to our statutory authority. After all, the chairman is a statutory authority, but he's something more. After all, you have to play, give some respect to it. That's one of the reasons why I think that Mr. Manmohan Singh, former prime minister, has not signed this letter, which is very significant. Okay, very significant that uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh has not signed this particular letter because he believes that there should no or should not be an element of the political. But, sir, would you agree to some extent that there is an element of uh, the political peak to this move by the opposition? Oh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And when particularly in an election year or in a year which is just before election year. It certainly is. Definitely. Okay, well, well, sir, then let me just, let me just ask. And, and this is something that a large number of people, including the four justices who dissented, will also say, that there is something wrong, that there is something wrong at the end of the day, something that made four senior judges go public. The reason why they all, out of a sense of frustration, came out and... Uh, held that press conference. Would you agree that there is something wrong in the system and with the system? Yes, perhaps from their point of view. But then they have to clarify it because in the public mind, this move to impeach him is a, some sort of progression on whatever the judges had said, which I don't think is, was, was <laughs> present to their mind. But they, they have to clarify that before the public because that's, that's the public impression that even four judges have not found faith in the Chief Justice, like that. So why, no, why not? Well, there must be something wrong with him, and therefore he should be impeached. 
Okay, well, sir, you know, I, 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 must, I, must today, I must today say that you are making imminent sense. Now, I just hope that uh, the Congress Party, the lobby that supports the Congress Party, the Chief Justice of India are listening to you. Because perhaps had they even consulted you in the very beginning, we would have had a very different situation on our hands. Now, I, I, I need to ask you, because you referred to this, do you think, sir, that the four judges should come out and clarify whether or not they were in favor of this impeachment, if they actually meant to create the grounds for an impeachment, sir? Whether they were in favor of impeachment or not, they have to clarify it. That's right. In fact, it, it's, it's for the benefit of the institution that I say this, not for the benefit of the current Chief Justice. The institution is far more important than all the people who at the moment man it. They all come and go. Well, there is an impression. There is an impression that the government also is undermining the judiciary by sitting on recommendations, for instance, sir. Would you agree with that? Do you believe that the government has stepped on a few toes? It shouldn't have. Yeah, that is that impression. That's why I said that government should remain totally aloof from this and ought not, ought not, when he, the chief, this, this chief justice retires, appoint anybody but his constitutional convention successor. That is to say, Number three today, because Nothing. two is already going in June, because he reaches 65. That's important. That's very, very important. Uh, Fali Nariman sending out message to the four judges, sending out a message to the Chief Justice of India, sending out a message to the lobby and the Congress party. I hope it's heeded. I want to ask you, sir, lastly, doesn't this give more ammunition to the government's rivals to conclude that something perhaps is amiss if indeed the government keeps holding back some of those recommendations? Oh, yes, yes, definitely. Therefore, the, the, this order of appointment must not at all be uh, uh, upset, in my view. Whatever the Chief Justice may recommend, and I have no doubt that he will recommend the successor who is today number three. But even if he doesn't, I, I believe that the convention, which is a constitutional convention, which is as important as the constitutional provision itself, and that's been so held by our Supreme Court, the, is followed. And it must be followed. I am against all supersession. I was against the first and I was against the second as well. Well, we'll, we'll put some of these thoughts out. Tonight, we'll test them immediately, right after this short break. Thank you, Mr. Nariman, for speaking to me. You have been exceptionally candid tonight. I know you're not happy. I know that you're disappointed. You said that you've served 60 years and you weren't wanting to actually see this day. Seven big takeaways from this interview. We'll come back to those. We put some question to the stakeholders. Stay with us. Don't go away. पाकिस्तान में क्यों हुआ ये सिर्फ हम जानते हैं सर मैं चाहता हूं तुम हिंदुस्तान की आंख और कान बन के पाकिस्तान में रहो एक फूट एक चुप हुई और तुम्हारी लाश जमीन पर पड़ी होगी वतन के आगे कुछ नहीं खुद भी नहीं Gabon, your next investment destination in Africa, presents special economic zones with major tax incentives for investors. 0% tax on land properties, 0% income tax for the first 10 years. Long term, a short supply of timber.
100% exemption on corporate tax and capital gains tax. Welcome to a, a country designed by nature. Welcome to a land of opportunity. Welcome to Gabon. Gabon Calling, an ocean of timber tales. Karnataka politics has seen many upswings and downswings over the past several decades. However, what does the result of the Karnataka election mean not just for the state but for the nation? We'll be trying to analyze and break down for our viewers all aspects of this make or break election. I'm Madhav Vasco Balakrishnan, reporting in Karnataka four times now. This is the semi final. But not just any semi-final. The Karnataka Assembly elections on May 12th will determine the trend and direction of Indian elections going up to the general elections in 2019. In Karnataka, the Congress and the BJP are squaring off for a big fight. There is a third party, the JDS, which hopes to spoil the party of the other two parties. Will Yediyurappa and Modi carry the day or will Siddharamaya stop them in their tracks? This is R. Jagannathan. Watch me on Times Now. is evolving. So is the news hour at 10. Are you trying to say is this me that the cup kill out of the log in the up a company of some is able to get up with a point five percent then I'm going to let alone me live for on and nurse him on your opinion matters is it right to intimidate stare at somebody and say ball Bharat Mata ki jai ball one day matter and then say nahi bole ga to ja Pakistan and he'll do whatever it takes get in the thick of things get down to brass tacks get under their skin Jaisin Punawala is trying to ask me, do you have the report? Jaisin Punawala, in your face is the proof. To get the answers, so you can form an opinion. At 10 p.m. on the news, uh, it's gloves off and I pull no punches. Why didn't the Tamil people and the Kanadika sit together and say, let's solve this for the interest of our farmers? We had infiltrated the Abhinav Bharat, who was writing a different constitution than constitution of India. He has infiltrated an outfit, does it make him a terrorist? Tune in to a sharper, high-powered news hour at 10 with Anand Narsimha, weeknights at 10. Co-powered by Siska LED, light years ahead. Is Karnataka the semi-final for 2019? Is BJP playing catch-up to the Congress? Or can Modi turn around the situation? Or will the JDS play kingmaker in a hung assembly? How will the Lingard card affect mandate 2018? So let's hit the ground to hear what people have to say. Watch Times now as we bring you the fastest and the most interesting updates of the Karnataka Mandate 2018. As I track all the developments of the Congress Party and its senior leaders, including the Chief Minister, on the election and the counting day. Deepak Bopana for Times Now. Morning headlines to breaking news. UK may Bharat ki badi jeet Britain ne choda neutral rabaiya park prayojit atank par Bharat ko samarthan. Senior Congress leaders from Rai Bareilly, Dinesh Pratap Singh and his brother Avdesh Singh are set to join the BJP and a debate that is fast, incisive and in-depth. Supreme Court ne kal apne faisle mein judge loya death case mein tamam petitions ko dismiss kar diya lekin uske bavajood bhi sawal uthaye ja rahe hai ki aakhir kar independent probe ka adesh kiyo nahi diya gaya. Get all this in one go. The Morning News Hour, weekdays 8 to 10 a.m. Okay, in about uh, 25 minutes, there will be another big breaking development, another big massive scoop on the judicial crisis. Watch out, we are putting out the promotional lines. There you can see them on the bottom of your screens. Be tuned, be sure to tune in at 8 p.m. We just spoke with Fali Nariman, India's legal doyen, the most authoritative voice, the nation's legal conscience, and he has had 
some big things to say in the first half of India Up Front, the special edition of India Up Front, Fali Nariman's most comprehensive interview till date. He has made certain very important points. He has sent out certain very important messages. The legal doyen has backed the vice president for rejecting the impeachment motion. He has also upheld the vice president's statutory authority to dismiss the motion. He says it has happened in the past. So no one can today come out and say that this is without precedence. Kapil Sibyl, listen. Congress party, listen. The left, listen. This is an educated voice. This is the most authoritative voice. This is a man who has practiced, breathed law for 60 years. The fourth big news point that came out of this, he assails the Congress for what he says is a politically motivated motion. And he assails the Congress for also involving the courts. That's right. He said this could have been dealt in any other which way, even though the Congress is within its rights to move the court, because that also implies that it still has confidence in the legal system. He bemoans the fact that this is politics at the end of the day, and political parties do what political parties have to do. Nariman has also urged the four judges who held a press conference to clarify that they oppose impeachment. He says, because vested political interests are using these four judges as a crutch to suggest that these four judges implied that the Chief Justice of India must be impeached. He has also cautioned the center, the NDA government, against interfering in the appointments process, saying that under no circumstances should the individual who is thought to be succeeding the Chief Justice of India, Deepak Mishra, under no circumstances should he be superseded. And he importantly calls on the Chief Justice of India to appoint his number two to hear the Congress's appeal if it is brought to the Supreme Court. He also has a message, of course, to the justices who have written to the Chief Justice of India seeking an open court hearing, saying that that may not be necessary if the Chief Justice of India appoints his number two or any of the other judges beyond the four senior most judges to hear the matter. So a message, very well-rounded message sent out to a number of these stakeholders. Let's just throw it open. Joining us, Ishkaran Bhandari, Swapnil Kothari, and Ravi Srivastava, the first two, of course, lawyers. I want to ask you, Ravi Srivastava, now that one of India's legal doyens, the conscience really of the legal system, has spoken up, do you believe that the individuals you support were motivated totally by politics and are today undermining India's faith in the judiciary, the public's faith in the judiciary? Rahul, that may be your perception that they are the motivated people or Not something mine. like that. Not but mine. I take only I take only two points. I am only talking in Mr. the context of what uh, Mr. Point. Fali Nariman has said. Okay. Now you tell me, do you think Mr. Yeah, Fali right. Nariman is wrong? Yeah, I am telling. You yeah, think I'm he's telling. wrong? No, if he's wrong, uh, tell me I'm why. Saying, no, I am not saying. Uh, Mr. Fali Nariman is a very learned uh, counsel. Is a very eminent judicial uh, luminary, legal luminary, and we must take whatever he has said very seriously. But then, then, but then that's the end of it, isn't it? That Indian, no, Indian the judiciary the today is in a mid of a mess. No, Rahul, it is in a mid of a mess, I am telling you. You have seen today, Justice Madan Lokur and Justice Ranjan Gogoi have asked for a full court for discussing the Did you not hear what Fali Nariman said about and the full are, court? They have asked for discussing. No, they are asked for the, dis no, what I am saying, I am questioning the whole judicial system of this country. And this government is not immune. He has rightly pointed out, if you see the five, no, no, you're being five, selective. where he has said that why the government, 
why the government is interfering with the appointment of the high court can judges? I, can I come in here, Mr. Srivastava? So it is not. It is in. It is yeah. in. It is in your interest tonight, sir, to raise the level yeah. of this debate. Mr. Fali Nariman has set yeah. a very high bar. Now, he has been critical of the government saying that they must not interfere. And he has also been critical of the Congress, but you refuse to see. You refuse to see, sir, his advice from a apolitical lens. And you're betraying yourself today, Mr. Srivastava. It's okay to be no inclined supporter of the me. Congress. Allow they me. have Allow a right. But maybe, maybe today, on Allow the back me. of what Mr. Fali Nariman has said, you must ask yourself why Dr. Manmohan Singh did not sign, why Salman Khurshid did not sign, why Mr. Moili, another legal luminary within have... the Congress ranks, opposed Rahul. That will be revealed, sir, in about 15, 20 minutes at 8 p.m. They, that we will reveal. But Fali Nariman has also said that the Prime not, Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, they have opposed not refused. it and he opposed it with good reason. And today, for God's sake, sir, get off your high political horse and back what Fali Nariman is saying because he knows for 60 years he has served this country honestly with integrity. He knows the system. But Rahul, Rahul, tell me, how, how do you know Dr. Manmohan Singh refused to sign it? I have seen another interview of Mr. Kapil Sibbal where he has clearly said that he is an ex-PM. They had not asked him to even sign on that. Oh. They had not gone to So him. you will not they ask, not gone to Mr. You will not ask one of Mr. your most is already allegedly credible voices. Court. You will exclude him. You will ask him about the price of butter shoes. You will ask him about the price of fuel. You will ask him about MSP to farmers. You will ask him about uh, whether they should hold an alliance with X and Y. But you will not ask him when you do move what is a historic motion against the Chief Justice of India. Now, I think, sir, I think, sir, you are being a little yeah, you are rich. Attacking, you, you are being are a little rich. For that. You are being a little rich, sir, tonight. I want to open this out. Ishkan Bhandari, Swapnil Kotari also with us. Before I bring in Swapnil uh, Kotari, Ishkaran Bhandari respond Rahul, to Mr. Srivastava. Rahul, two short points. If there was Sir, actually something it. genuinely wrong in the judiciary, ex-Prime Minister should have been the first one to sign it. If a former Prime Minister believed that there was a genuine case, he would have come out and been the first person to sign it. The very fact that he did not sign it or they did not approach him shows that in their hearts, Congress knew it was a political gambit. It was not a uh, thing needed for the system to function. Second, by opposition doing this, and there is an old interview of Kapil Sibyl, viral on the internet, where he said any 50 people for political purposes should not move an impeachment motion. That time he was in power, he was in government. He has somersaulted on his views because he knows that what they are moving now is nothing except a power play to try to intimidate the judiciary which is not passing orders which some of the opposition parties want they are going as per their conscience and this is a naked attempt to do that also moving further to the one final point opposition is saying that venkaya naidu ji had no power to reject the motion he is a high constitutional authority he is not a clerk who just has to see 50 members of parliament have signed. My clerical job is done. Now I move the motion ahead. Any high constitutional authority has a discretion. He has to satisfy his conscience that a case is made out. Only then we will he go forward. This is done even at a very basic level. No person who has to make a decision does it only that 50 people signed it. He okay. has to apply his brains to it. Well, he applied his mind. He consulted legal experts. Then Ishkaran, he came to a decision and he rejected Ishkaran, it. Rao, it. Allow me to respond to him, please. Yeah. Rao, no, allow on, me to respond to him. What is the response? Why, first of all, the whole thing is said, a Congress, a Congress impeachment motion, it is Congress is a party to that. There are seven parties involved with that. 
So, so you know who took the lead? Motive, that is a prompted by Sita Ram Yachuri and what is written what out by the Congress party in their favor from the no, Supreme Court. No, 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 come on. You can even had Mamta yeah. Banerjee today. You even had Mamta Banerjee come out and say that this is not good. Not that Mamta Banerjee is a doyen of justice. No. You have today someone with unimpeachable <laughs> credentials. No known political affiliations. He was in fact most apologetic, and I'm talking about Fali Nariman, but even accepting a Rajya Sabha MP ship. He was on record to say that he did it under the pressure of his wife. He said it to a journalist called Karan Thapar. So this is a man who doesn't take sinecures. He's a man who is telling the Chief Justice of India today, don't take a sinecure after you finish your term. Appoint your number two. He's also come out and said very clearly to the Congress party, that uh, political parties act politically, they do exactly that what suits them and that the courts must not be brought into this. Swapnil Kotari, do you but think today the Congress attach, has done a disservice? Does it not now, attach Mr. a motive Srivastava, the let's way he has speak. asked to appoint a number two for him? Yeah, so he'll do it yeah. most probably if the Congress moves the courts. Raul, if I'm one allowed, hopes that the Chief Raul, Justice uh, of India takes that. They will. No, so, so fine. So the request of Fali Nariman or the advice Yes. Is binding upon May the I Chief Justice but not upon the Congress Party. Mr. Srivastava, come on. Where is your logic today? What he says to the Chief Rahul, Justice, what he in? says to the government is binding. Rahul, yes, you I must accept, in? must listen to Fali Naima. When he tells that same Rahul. thing to Rahul Gandhi, is not binding. Sir, come on. No, Rahul. Thoda if, bahut to objective ho jayi, sir. Rahul, everything, Rahul. If everything, they thoda do not think even, they do not think even, sub Rahul. Yeah, Rahul, even think if Supreme in, Court decisions are binding on them, they do a press Dishkaran, conference at the next speak? minute saying these decisions are wrong decisions. Well, he says very clearly, so this has to be political peak is obvious due to election year. It's an exact quote. Yes. yes. Mr. Kothari wants yes. to come in. Uh, Ishkaran, they, they, they are it, Mr. Kothari it is wants to come in. in. Everybody has speak. a right yes. to express his opinion. Rish, may I finish because I'm not allowed a judge to speak. But you are... Even Can you I speak? Are directly I castigating. You are directly castigating the. Okay. Why? Let, why? Let why? Mr. Kotari speak. Gentlemen, please show some courtesy. You don't, want to, you don't want to listen to the voice of India's legal doy and fine. You are directly. But at least show some courtesy you to your fellow, fellow panelists. You are now, Mr. Kotari, I'm coming out to you. Ishkaran, one minute. Please be silent. So, Mr. Kotari, what do you make yes. of this? What do you make of this? Yes. Uh, yeah, Rahul, for. Yes, yes, Rahul. First of all, let me congratulate you, your team and Times Now for bringing in the conscience keeper, for bringing in the best constitutional textbook in the country to strew some pearls of wisdom, 60 years of distilled wisdom upon the 125 crore Indians and especially the Congress party, which has done a major disservice to the nation by uh, initiating the impeachment motion. This is very important to note that Article 31B Section 31B of the Judges' Inquiry Act 1968, under which this motion was initiated and discarded by Mr. Venka and Naidu, completely uh, entitles him uh, to do so because the language of that section is very clear that it is upon him to uh, consult any legal people whom he wishes to or any people that he wants to and consider the materials before him. So he's not some uh, 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 you know, small uh, person who's going to check whether 50 signatures have been done or not. He is supposed to consider, assess the merits and then come out with an order which she did so. Now, this is very, very important. It is absolutely imperative that Fali Nariman's views are taken into account not only by the government, but also by the court, by the Supreme Court Chief Justice, who must appoint his second, uh, second in command to ensure that the Supreme Court continues with its unblemished reputation. Now, as far as the point which one of the uh, panelists made with the Congress party person or whoever he is made that the two justices have written a letter. Now, this is an internal matter of the court. It is an internal administrative matter. It requires, it brooks no political interference. The people are Sir, capable of solving within themselves if they are public, the last a arbiter of the fundamental no, we should rights. Inquire. Mr. Kodari, we should inquire how this made it into the politics, into no, the public domain. Sir. 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 Who is leaking it? Sir. Sir. Who is leaking it? It, it goes to the chief justice in the of the press. Court. It does it not require political interference. It is not requiring it political come interference. It's a press conference. It's a matter sorry, of public. Sorry, sir. It's not a it court is matter anymore. Sorry, no, sir. Let us return to the Chief Justice sorry, of India. Sorry, sir. 
from it, two judges, it, brother judges, unless they are marked to PTI, to the press to the India and other government. media houses. How do they Why get out? Why should they, sir? They Absolutely. Have a Has if it been everything marked? is fair and fine Sorry. with the unbiased That's right, judiciary, Rahul. there is no court Why case. Why should they ask for a full court? No, Mr. Kotari has a very valid point. I think Mr. Why Kotari... Why should they ask for a full court? If everything is fine with the Supreme Court? Yes, but Court, Mr. Kotari says... It is not much to the Congress the, Party. If the matter is brought before the Chief Justice or it's brought into the Supreme Court and the Chief Justice appoints his number two or better still, Judges Absolutely. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Absolutely. And he cannot hear it himself no, and, anyway. And, and there on, the charges are then you don't him. even need a full court. So please. He Absolutely. said so. Has it been copied to the Congress party? Has it been copied to the BJP? Who no, knows? it hasn't been. It Who hasn't knows, been. Sir? So why do you interfere? I well, think what, it's a good point. Hun Oh, 125 sir, crore matter. people if the Supreme it's Court no has the final arbiter of the Constitution. The, well, it has, it has that's what you public domain. The, the CGI files Excuse will be me, revealed. Sir. The CGI files will be revealed in about 15 minutes. It's 43 by about 56, 756. You will see the CGI files. They will be revealed. And then the mask will slip further. And the Congress will have some serious answers to give us. Absolutely, serious Raul. answers. Over the next two hours, Absolutely. from 7.56 to 10.56, to 9.56 rather, Times Now will be putting out the CGI files. Yes, pay close attention, viewers, because this is going to change the narrative. This is hard, investigative, Reportage. Absolutely, and this will be great. We don't it will talk be signal in thin service air. to the nation. We don't talk hey, in thin air. Neither does yes, Fali Nariman. Rahul, it, Neither yes. does Fali Nariman. It, uh, and he has been uh, very Rahul, consistent, it, uh, extremely erudite, most importantly, very, 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 very bipartisan. There is no partisanship. He is not picking sides. He doesn't need to do this. Well, he is known to be Rahul. Absolutely. He's, so, absolutely. So, Mr. Srivastava. Yes. Should the Congress therefore reconsider any move to continue down this impeachment road? Rahul, I think you should not be suggestive to the Congress what they should do. They have got their own set of legal numeraries in their uh, in their uh, stable. Yeah, but and most of them are not on board. The due court Salman like Kurshid was not on board. Actually, we will reveal. What actually, we will reveal what today. Actually should be done. At 7:56, why was not on board? Neither was Mr. Moili. Salman Kurshid was on this show, on India up front. Neither was Chidambaram. Two nights ago, two nights ago, saying why he disagreed, why he's dissented. No. Why does he think it's a wise move? Clarified by Congress so I don't know which. No, come on, what clarified, sir? He was standing Supreme right Court, here. So he will not be a signatory to that particular. It doesn't matter, sir. It's his motion. view. He's but a legal luminary. You case. can't take that away from no. him just because he's not an MP. You no. can't take it away from him. He's taken a political no, stand. No. Now, are you saying that he's a person yes, who doesn't it is, have? It is their own. No, he doesn't have the acumen. Rahul, you just cited legal luminaries. They have their own legal luminaries. Where one of those legal luminaries on public record to say he doesn't agree. Parties. Virapa there Moli doesn't want to face parties. the cameras because he's so embarrassed. Bring up their own then you have Dr. Manmohan Singh. No, not at all. Shocking. Rahul. Shocking, sir. Shocking. Ill-advised move. Ill-advised move Rahul. to undermine the judiciary today is being Rahul passed off Rahul. as a quest for truth and search for truth. I, I find it reprehensible. Anyhow, Ishkaran Bhandari, respond. Rahul, all the points you're raising to Congress would matter if they were entrusted in maintaining the sanctity of the institution. All that you say, they already know. Also, you will bring some more exclusive stuff that why what is happening in this case. But what exists on record even as of now it is evident that it is being done to try to damage the institution because as per them, the institution is not passing orders which they wanted to pass. They, even if they succeed, it will take more than six months and the CGI's tenure Ishkaran, ends in six months. 
There is no way of short circuiting this procedure. Four judges on Why 12th they, January, they said only, themselves. Their only that purpose, we, that we will I didn't not interrupt you, I didn't interrupt you, don't interrupt me. Okay, gentlemen, they will not be able to show their faces. Gentlemen, keep silent at this stage. Gentlemen, in nine minutes, in nine minutes, more revelations. Another it big scoop. It is not that Hard investigative journalist, journalism saying. as its best. It is a we will put out some more. We will put out some more they important, vital they information. Vital for the public interest. And I am concluding this because we have to prepare for that big news break. Fali Nariman speaks to Times now. The most comprehensive interview till date. The legal doyen backs the vice president for rejecting the motion says very clearly that uh, he had the statutory authority to dismiss the motion. He goes on to assail the Congress for its motivated motion and for involving the courts. Very importantly, Mr. Nariman also urges the four judges to clarify that they oppose the impeachment, something that uh, they haven't done thus far except for one of them. Cautions the NDA against interfering in the appointments process and most importantly calls upon the Chief Justice of India to appoint a number two to hear the Congress's appeal. Big development here. I just hope the lobby, the Congress party and other opposition parties, the Chief Justice of India and the four judges hear what Fali Nariman has to say. We leave it at this.